Well, this week we're going to talk a little bit more about functions. We've briefly co covered functions in the past, mostly to get you to the point that we've been in the last, uh, well, for most of the semester where you can use a function to call a chunk of JavaScript code from the onClick method inside of a button or other HTML element. And we're going to go into a little bit more depth about the power of functions and uh, what they're good for. So they can do so much more. We can have multiple functions inside of our JavaScript files or JavaScript code can be made up of multiple functions. Um, it's really great for taking chunks of code that you're going to repeated, repeatedly call inside a program and make it easy to call that chunk of code. It simplifies our code, allows us to structure our code. You can do a whole bunch with it. And the main things that we're going to talk a little bit with, with regards to functions are we're going to go over uh, the idea that you can pass variables into a function. We're going to talk about returning information out of a function. And we're also going to talk a little bit about variable scope. And we're going to go ahead and just create several functions that do uh, deal with different types of variables and do different things. And today, in this one, we're going to just use simple JavaScript alerts and JavaScript um, prompt windows because we're mostly going to be functioning on w the structure of functions and not necessarily on creating usable functioning fancy code, if you will, that does that looks really nice, but mostly just to show you how the functions work and the JavaScript pop-ups are really good for just uh, being a quick and dirty output and input. So the first thing I think we're going to show you, uh, we're going to create a function. And this function I'm going to call main. And what we're going to do first is just create a function that we can do what we've always been doing, and that is call it from within our HTML with a button. So first thing we're going to do is create a button with an onClick method equals main. And we forgot our other clicks here. OK, so we got our button there. And basically, the reason why I'm doing that is because we just want our we're going to start with the main function that, uh, just like the ones you guys are used to calling, and we're going to branch out of our code and, and call other functions from within this main function. So we're going to go ahead and show you how we can take one of the very first programs we ever wrote in this class, and uh, many of you wrote, and that was a program to collect a length and the width of a room and then give you the area of the room. Um, and we're going to write a function that uh, basically returns the area of a room. So we're going to start by creating another function. And we can call this function calculate, we need space in there, calculate area. Now once again, remember function names cannot have spaces in them. So make sure that you keep that in mind. We're going to say calculate area. And then we need to specify inside these parentheses that we've always left blank. We can actually specify inside here that it can accept parameters. So we're going to say we're going to accept a length and a width. Now, this here is similar to declaring variables, but you don't necessarily you aren't necessarily declaring variables. These are kind of placeholders for variables, which are just saying I am going to pass a variable in here, and we're letting JavaScript know that we're going to do two different variables, and um, we're going to use these inside our function as if we have declared them, knowing that when we actually call this function, we're going to be passing real data into them. That'll make a little bit more sense here in a minute. So. In order to calculate area, area we know is a very simple function. And we do need to declare in here a variable called area, because that's what we're going to be calculating, equals length times width. And all we're doing here is we're saying that I want to take 
uh, a variable that I'm creating inside this function called area. And I'm going to take whatever's passed in here and times it by whatever's passed in here and save that into area. And then we're going to use a special command called return. And then we're going to return. And what that does is when you call this function, what's going to be returned back to the thing that's calling it is the value stored in this variable right here. So that's creating a very basic function. And let's go ahead and call that function inside of our main uh, function, which is being called from down here. So we'll do that by first we're going to need to collect some information. And so we're just going to do that with a simple window prompt. So let's go ahead and just create these here. I've copied them over. So we've got uh, declaring a variable called L and a variable called W. Now normally I wouldn't call create variables so short, but I'm doing it to show you that these are different from these. I didn't want to call them length and width as well, although you could. Um, and once we've done that, so we, as we know, this is going to prompt up a box that says enter the length, and it's going to save it here, and then we're going to say enter the width. And now we want to call a variable, but we need to save the results of, excuse me, we need to call the function, but we need to save the results of the function into a variable. So let's call a variable called result, and we're going to make it equal to, we're going to copy this here, we want to call the function calculate area, and I'm going to pass in L and W into this function. So what's going to happen is whatever's been saved into L will get passed down as length into this function and anything saved in W will get passed down into width of this function and area will be returned into result. So then we can finish this off by just doing a window alert to see if it worked and passing in uh, the, re the result here and seeing if we get something that's Understandable. So we're going to go ahead and do click me. It's going to say give me, oh, sorry, this is, we need to reload. Oh, that is the wrong program. We're calling something else. Let me, there we go. This is going to be the right one. So click me, enter the length. So let's say 10 is the length and 12 is the width. And it's going to pop up and say 120. 10 times 12 is 120. We want to try this one more time with different numbers just to see if it's working. Area is 2400. So that's kind of, in short, how we write a function.